Hi folks, John Kitts here, playing Sail Away, the sailing simulator. And what I was hoping to do was to log in and show you the end of the course, but apparently I've already reached the end of the course. And um, things are, uh, well, finished. <laughs> what can I tell you? Um, we've reached the end of the course, and we've gone into anchor mode, so we're at sea anchor, we're facing the wind. Why we suddenly did that was because perhaps the wind has gone up to five knots, whereas it was one knot before. And maybe when we were offline, it was even higher yet, so it covered the last legs of the journey a little more quickly. So anyway, we have finished, I hope. Uh, it seems like we've come to the end here. Uh, we I just noticed, I'll probably not see him again, but there was a guy from Miami following the same route. I think he's there. No, I don't know where he is. He's floating around here somewhere. Oh, there he is, I think. Yes, he is uh, from Florida, following the same, well, approximate route, because uh, I don't see any reason why he's following the particular route that I have. But there's only so many directions you can go. Anyway, he's following that, and he's online right now. I don't know if he has a website or whatever, but there you go. So. We're stuck there. So we finished that one, and now the next one, if we hit the escape key, and we go to activities, and we go to challenges, and we are going to go right to the second from the end, and Vasto de Gama at 1479? Ah, uh, maybe. Anyway, that's five weeks. That's going to take a long time, mother. Um, it has been done in... 28 days, which is less than a month. Um, come back, come back, come back, come back. It has been done in 28 days, and it's also been done in 41 days. So certainly it's going to take more than a month to go through there. The 50-foot performance cruiser did it. A mini transat did it in 41 days. So actually a couple of times. A mini transit. Looks like he's done it a couple times. Then the offshore racer, and of course, keeps getting lost. Now, I'm tempted to try going to the mini transit, which is, I don't have one, do I? It's the offshore racer, I've got two of those, and I've got the ocean cruiser, and I've got the Nordic. I've got the learn to sail. Karen B and Rose and Extra Boat Ocean Cruiser The Mini Transit The Mini Transit is a twenty eight footer. Not a very big one, but maybe it's fast or something, I don't know. But a mini transit would probably be closer to the size of the ship that was being sailed back in the 1400s. So, uh, what do you think? Should we try that one or what? I have no idea what this means. Maybe somebody can tell me. Uh, eh, what the heck. So, mini transit. Let's click on that one. And it is plopping this down off the coast of Africa like they would normally do. Uh, that sky looks a bit heavy. So, it seems to me that if I go to my boats, uh, hello, if I go to my boats, that's the one I'm at now, no it's not, that's the ocean cruiser. Mini Transit showing the info there. I'm trying, isn't there a space where it says you can uh, increase the sky? See that my graphic quality is good, so not there. 
keeps wanting to go to my 38 footer. Okay, let's uh, let's forget about the sky and go to our mini transit. Okay, so that's where we are right now. So we want to take it to well, it's sail under sail and everything. Um, anyway, we want to sail in our activities under challenges. We want to sail whatever this guy did. Whoa! Until 17th minute, goats going south along the African coast faced a hard time in the doldrums and were then blown back by the southeast trade winds. But then, Vasco da Gama made a bold move. He sailed southwest until he could pick up the westerly wind at 30 degrees south and then sail east towards Africa again. Uh, your task is to sail southwest from, I guess that's Lisbon spelled differently, to 30 degrees south and then head to St. Helena Bay in South Africa. It took Vasco da Gama 93 days. P.S. Don't forget to set your waypoints and the auto navigation to make sure your boat will sail on when offline. Okay. So, do we want to, I'm assuming he's not going into the Mediterranean, so I guess is, he's turning around and sailing through the start point, which is right there. So what we'll do is we'll start this course off and drop in every now and then, see how we're doing. Uh, after that, uh, we'll finish it in three months' time. So, uh, we want to cross the line, which we cannot see. And the wind, where is the wind? Oh, the wind is coming from the north-west, barely, mostly north. So... Um, teleport to start. Alright. That's where we are. We've just teleported and we're about to cross the line. And once we cross the line, I assume we're heading off in that direction. the line here. Okay, we are into the route that Vasco de Gama sailed. Now, what do we want to do? What is our wind speed? 13. I don't know why we'd be raising the code zero. We want to go more south, so let's swing around this way. Let's scroll out. Okay, we want us to sail off here and turn this way, go south, sail that way, and then head back toward Africa. Wow, that was a bold move back in those days. Okay, so, the Jenniker. Okay, I suppose we could, let's see, we could move it further and raise the Jenniker there. So let's, uh, be looking over here, main reef, main halyard, main jib halyard. We, uh, no, we want to lower that. What is our speed? 5.5, 5.6 was... 
we want to raise the Jenniker, and hopefully we'll be going faster than what we were before. Well, I guess we're up at 6.7 point. We're up at 7.8, 7.9. Cooking right along at 8.2. Alright, so anyway, what we need to do is trim that. So let's trim the Jenniker first. The Jenniker's too loose. So we'll find the Jenniker sheet. Jenniker sheet too loose. Too loose, too loose. So we tighten it. Alright. Uh, let's see what the mainsail says. Mainsail's too flat to try to ease the out haul. The mainsail being that one there. They want us to ease the out haul. Okay, we're sailing the way we are supposed to. Trying to find a more comfortable position here. Back at the helm. Hmm. Okay, so our next course line would be way the heck out there. So we have to come back occasionally and reset our course line. 8.2. Okay, let's swing it back and see what it does to our speed. So, if we head straight on, we seem to be in as reasonable a place as we were before. So, what we want to do is erase what we had before, which was back in the previous location. And now it's calculating, I think. And it should show us where we started. Yeah, let's try it again. And there we are. I'm just showing a little activity here. Okay. So we want to keep it under... Uh, four... under five is what we're trying to keep it under. At 4.8, let's keep moving that outward. I'm finding it hard to see, I don't know about you. 4.8... 4.7... Oops... 4.6 or 4.5... 5.4.4.7... because that seems to screw up at that point. After three months of sailing, I don't want it to be screwing up. disappears because it, well because okay so we'll keep the course going
that. I don't know how many miles that is. Is there any way of finding out? I don't know. The so local time, which I think is irrelevant here. That's the velocity made good. That's our depth. Yeah, a depth and distance to the next waypoint. Okay, distance to a destination. 208. Okay, what is that? Meters or nautical miles? I don't know. It's M there, which stands for meters, so that's depth, that's understandable. Those are knots there, that's the speed. But the distance, do they have it in nautical miles? I know when they leave a message down below, they leave it in miles. So I'm not quite sure how much we have here. Um, okay, this here will show the number of nautical miles from the last waypoint. Alright, let's take a look here. We're at... That's the bearing to distance. Bearing to destination. And that's the depth, so it doesn't help us one way or another. No, there's no way of figuring it out how far we're actually going or how far we've laid out. So, we are going to have to make sure we've got enough here. What do you think? It's been long enough now? Surely that's long enough distance that we're going to be here tomorrow. Although we probably won't be, I will. I'll just pop in every now and then and see how things are going. So we should repopulate here in a second. Okay, uh, we're eight minutes away from our next waypoint. So, I guess really, um, this is going to be a long-term project and we're going to drop in every now and then see how we're doing. So, until then, there's not a whole lot uh, we can tell you about other than change of wind, etc. So, if you do enjoy these videos, please hit the thumbs up button, and most importantly, or not most importantly, but second most importantly, hit the subscribe button, but most importantly, hit the comment button and let me know, because this whole channel is designed for people who are marginalized, I guess is the right word, uh, like seniors and other folks that... Uh, are not particularly pleased with the way YouTube and gaming is going, so uh, until uh, I leave a comment, my apologies for my scatteredness, but it's a really warm day here, 
in case you're wondering why uh, about Canada and Nova Scotia you've not been here before it can be very warm and very nice sunny day so uh, until next time um, wow please do take care